Assalamu alaikum students of class senior 1 I am your teacher Mrs Sadr Here is the topic major land features So let us learn about some major land features of the earth Dear students mountains plateaus plains deserts and rivers are some major land features of the earth Let us discuss about mountains Mountains are termed highly they are generally different from other land features in height and shape They have an uneven sloping surface they are broad at the bottom and narrow at the top the himalayas in the southern part of asia the rockies in north america and the kokra mountains in pakistan the alps and the andes are some examples of mountains mona kea in hawaii in the pacific ocean is an undersea mountain the chain of mountains is called mountain range According to their formation mountains are classified into the following three categories fold block and volcanic mountains fold mountains are the most dominant mountains some are located on the edges of the continents for example the rocky mountains in north america the andes mountains in south america and the atlas mountains in north africa others are located in the middle of the continents for example the himalayas the alps and the ural mountains These mountains are called fold mountains because they are formed by the bending or folding of the earth's crust due to compression. Block mountains. Block mountains are formed as a result of the uplifting of the earth's crust when it is pushed up between two fault lines. The uplifted block forms block mountain, also called a horse mount block mountain. Volcanic mountains. Volcanic mountains are formed as a result of the volcanic activity. Mount Kilimanjaro in Africa and Mount Fujiyama in Japan are the examples of volcanic mountains. Plateau. Plateaus are also called tablelands because of their flat raised surface which is often steep sided. The area and height of a plateau varies from a few square kilometer or thousands of square kilometers. Plateaus are formed in many ways. Uplifting of the earth crust by volcanic activity is one of the main causes of plateau formation. There are three types of plateaus: uplifted plateaus, intermountain plateaus, pedmont plateaus, and volcanic or lava plateaus. Tipper Plateau is the highest plateau of the world. It is also called the roof of the world. The Deccan Plateau, the East African Plateau, the Western Plateau are some of the oldest plateaus. Plains. Large stretches of flat lands are called plains. Plains are generally lowland. They have a flat surface and are major agricultural regions. The majority of the world's population lives on plains. Types of plains: depositional plains, erosional plains, and uplifted plain The sediment deposited by river is called alluvium and plain formed by this process are called alluvial plain Depositional plains are formed by deposition of sediment Erosional plains are formed by erosional agents like wind glaciers and water Uplifted plains are formed as a result of ocean floors being uplifted by tectonic forces raising the earth crust above sea level deserts deserts are large expanses of dry land geographers define deserts generally on the basis of rainfall in cold areas this value may be even lower deserts are also identified on the basis of their vegetation which is poor because of low rainfall Deserts have very distinct features: sand dunes and sandy plains. There are cold deserts and hot deserts. Third desert is called the sandy desert. Tibetan Plateau is the example of rocky surface. The Sahara Desert in Africa is the largest desert in the world. The vegetation found in desert areas needs a limited amount of water and has a long route to the ground water. In the hot desert, 
Baboon and cactus are the most common plants. In hot dry deserts, there are some small areas where a pool or underground fresh water source provides for human settlements and cultivation. These green areas are called oases. In the Arabian and North African deserts, oases are human settlements where jade palms are grown. Rivers A river or a stream is a body of running water that flows along a channel and moves down under the force of gravity. There are three stages of a river, youth, mature and old. During flood, the river overflows its banks and deposits fill over the ground forming flood plain as it deposits more cells along its banks. It flows in a zigzag pattern called a meander. The mouth of a river is called a delta. Most rivers finally flow into the sea or into large lakes. At the end is state of the river, when there is no gradient, the water flows slowly in its stream, depositing sediment at the mouth of the river. This forms our delta. Rivers are the main source of fresh water on earth. All major civilizations of the world developed around important rivers. That's all for the today class. Inshallah, I'll meet you in the next class. So then take care and Allah Hafiz.